Hey folks, it's Jeff from the Bobblehead Homestead. Or you can call me Peoria Dude, or PD, or Dude, or El Duderino if you're into that whole brevity thing. This next clip is chickens. I, in a previous clip, there was a, a quick shot of a chicken that I noticed. And this next clip is another shot of the chickens I noticed. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> I did not capture on video my interaction with the five that I did see. And, you know, I was just so enthralled by these chickens outside my front door that I didn't think to grab the camera. So I apologize for that. But let's view this clip and then, um, then I'll get back to you. Here, chicky chicky. Those look like roosters. I hope you can see them. Let's see if I can follow them. Yes, I've got chickens. They are free range, <laughs> living on their own. Wild chickens. Aww. Here, chicky, chicky, chicky. I saw five of them earlier. And they were, they came right up to the door when I got here. Well, after I'd been here a little bit. Um, here, chicky chicky. So this is like bonus footage. So, I think I'm going to come back out here tomorrow <laughs> and bring some chicken feed because I feel sorry for them. Although I'm going to have to go back to Illinois, so... Oh, I'm sure there's plenty of bugs and stuff for them to eat. I'm not going to worry. They're wild chickens. They're free. Man, this looks like it was like a dog... <sighs> um, tie down. And I think they had dogs chained up out here. But it's a little clearing that something could be done here. So, yeah. I've, I can't say I've got chickens, but there are chickens there. Uh, the, the gentleman who sold me the trailer told me a few stories about those chickens, and I'm just not, uh, not sure exactly what their history is. But, uh, he said he'd had them for a few years, that he had let them go you know, they'd stop going into the coop, of which I saw no evidence of there being any chicken coops anywhere. But he said they stopped going into the chicken coops about a year ago, and that once in a while he goes out and hunts for eggs, and I, just, I don't know what to believe. So I have no idea on the history of those chickens. There were five of them. Two of them looked like roosters. No clue what kind of breed they are. I know that he, nobody has been there in a couple weeks feeding them or anything like that. So I just, I think they're just mostly wild chickens out living on their own and, and, and that's about <laughs> all I know about the chickens. And uh, I do feel kind of bad. I mean, uh, but there's just, I, there's nothing I, could realistically have done. So I'm going to have to go back to Illinois and it's going to be weeks probably before I get there and then more weeks until I'm living there full time. So they're just going to have to be wild and on their own. And I, I do feel bad about that, but there is uh, just really nothing I can do about it. I did not go out go back the next day to give them some feed that just would have been a ridiculous waste of gas and time and <laughs> and so I didn't do that okay now here's the rest of that that clip which shows you a little bit more of the property uh, behind the behind the mobile home and okay we'll close out with that take care um yeah, and, <laughs> I mean, there's the end of the trailer, and my property goes back, 
Well, it's 260 feet wide and then 464 feet deep. So I'd say I am 150 feet right here. So there's at least 200 feet it goes back. And some nice trees. I have no idea. Man, my plant identification is not good. So any book recommendations, please? Oh, I got the doorknob changed. I got bees buzzing around me. Um, here's the back of that shed, house, whatever the heck it is. Plenty of free material. That little white thing is the water well. Um, looks like some type of entertainment center. Um, yeah. And we'll look up. And so the front of the property is... There's some sunlight coming through. Lots of possibilities. And opportunities. And hey, there's a birdhouse lying on the ground. Looks like Erica. I'll have to put that back up. Go away, wasp. Um, uh, one thing. Uh, you might see the rocks next to that birdhouse. Yeah, there's not going to be any tilling going on around here. Oh, and look at that. There's a chain around the tree. Probably where they had a dog tied up. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to do much until winter when a lot of this stuff dies back. And this looks like a low spot. Again, lots of pretty good sized rocks. But, move one rock at a time, one day at a time, and we'll get there. More rocks over there. Okay, that's pretty much the grand tour. Now I'm going to take some photos to share on Instagram and Facebook and scare the bejesus out of everybody. Yeah? <laughs> Later.